hello everyone in the last video we have made a slideshow and you can add this slideshow in any of your website and someone actually asked me in the comment that you want to how we can add this slideshow in our library management system so this video will show you how you can add this for this you need to copy the code and add that code in the web page where you want to add this slideshow first you need to copy the w3 school style sheet link and that then paste that link inside the page and after the title inside the head tag now then save it and then again copy the code after the body part yes inside the body copy the whole code till the javascript code and then we need to add this we are adding this in our index page so inside the index page there is our header and then section and footer we will add this in our section so inside the section we have a background image we will add this after the background image inside this we will create our slideshow so you can add it after the break or you can add it before the break so we are adding it before the break and so it will start from the starting of the image or background image or section part after the header okay now after you save this code and then when you refresh okay we need to open that page other codes are still same we just need to paste it there then open the index page and you see there is our slideshow but it's inside the left corner in the left corner so we need to actually change it and we will remove this for now let's make the div box a comment so if we want to use it we can use that later for making something in, or for writing comment in the HTML page you need to use this sign angle opening angle then exclamatory sign and then two dash and when you want to close it you need to add two dash and a closing angle again okay not underscore it will be dash after you are done then again save this and when you refresh it you can see that now there it is all right okay now we will move this slideshow in the middle position for that you just need to add a left margin and we will add this in the div box where we have made the slideshow inside the div box there are all the pictures so we just need to style this div box okay so we need to add a semicolon after the white then we will add margin left and let's say 200 pixel and let's see if it works okay we need to add some more to the left let's say 400 okay now it's in the middle position you can see and you can add any context or any other picture there inside the um, inside that slideshow like your library from outside and other things and if you want to make the slideshow the 100% um, of the white then you need to change this styling a bit like you can just make it 100% and let's see how it looks like now okay it has become 100% of the width but we have added a left margin so the picture is moved or a slideshow is moved to the right, right side so we need to delete this And we will add a height here, let's say 400 pixel. Okay, 
now you can see that but you see the height is not 400 pixel but we have already actually defined that it should be 400 pixel but it is not 400 pixel because of the image size and if we want to do it we need to actually resize that image when you actually go to inspect and then the slideshow and you can see that we have changed and the change is made here but still the full image is shown you see the box is actually 400 height have a height 400 pixel but as the image height is different so it is showing the full image so if we want to add it according to the height we want our slideshow to be okay then we need to actually make our resize our picture height to that size and for that you need to go to inspect and click on that div box again and you can see that in the red box there is a size they are showing you can see on the left corner there is a size you need to remember that size and change our image size according to that size okay so remember this number of the div box and then let's change our image size inside the images folder you uh, we have used this picture so let's open this in the paint so okay yeah inside the paint you can see there is a resize option here click resize and then click pixel and change the horizontal to the first number you have seen there and then click on this and change it to 400 now when you click ok you see the image height is according to the height we have changed now if we add this to our slideshow our slide sh uh, image will show according to that height inside the box yeah now you see the whole image height is actually 400 pixel as we have written in our code but the other pictures are showing the full size still now so we need to resize every image according to the height we want to show it inside our website and this is not only for this slideshow if you want to show your background image on the whole website and your image size is not actually the same as your as the size you have uh, declared or defined in the code then you need to resize it like this okay now another image open it with the paint and then click on pixel sorry click on resize then pixel then click this and then change the horizontal line and vertical line size and then click ok then don't forget to save the image you need to save it every time or the change will not be shown okay so like this you can change every picture and add it inside your website anywhere and like okay if it is background picture or inside a slideshow you can just change it like this and then save this and then use that image inside your website